Welcome to the Blackboard Quick Start. Hi, my name is Robbie from University College. In this video, you will be presented with the most basic aspects of Blackboard that you should know by the first day of classes and by the end of the first week of classes. Let's get started. Your instructor will use announcements to convey important information about the course, upcoming assignments, grades, and so on. You can view these messages in a few different places. First, within your course on the page titled Announcements. Also, on the Blackboard homepage, both in the My Courses module and underneath the course title. Clicking on either of these two links will bring you to the content of that announcement. You may also receive important messages from your instructor in your atmain.edu gmail account. To access this account, sign in at gmail.main.edu with your Blackboard username and password. Announcements may be sent to your inbox as well. You have the ability to change where email is sent to your atmain.edu account is received. If you regularly use a different email address, you can forward your mail to that account by navigating to mail.main.edu. Reading your syllabus is a critical first day activity. The information presented in the syllabus will set the expectations of the course for the rest of the semester. You will likely be referring back to the syllabus throughout the semester. Finding the syllabus in the course could be as easy as clicking on a page titled Syllabus. Alternatively, the syllabus may be stored on another page in the course. Click around if you are unable to locate it. Each course you have on Blackboard could potentially have a different set of pages to navigate through. For this reason, it is worthwhile to get to know your course on the first day. You'll want to locate the pages that will house your weekly content, watch any intro videos available to you, and be familiar with the different pages in the course. Each course will organize content in its own way, but you will notice similarities between courses. Some things to keep in mind when navigating your course. Course navigation can be collapsed to focus on the content of the page. You should also be aware that items in your course will become available and unavailable throughout the semester. When you have questions about your courses, your first point of contact is your instructor. If enabled, you have the ability to email your instructor directly from the Blackboard course. Every course also has a link to Blackboard's help site. On this site, you can search for your topic of interest, in this case, the discussion board, and often a tutorial video will accompany the text description of the tool. If you are in need of university tech support, the Help, Tips, and Updates section lists the contact information you need to get connected. The discussion board is the most commonly used tool in Blackboard. If in use in your course, by the end of the first week, you should be familiar with creating a thread, adding images when required, and replying to posts within the forum. Here's how. Access the discussion board from your course navigation. Click on the forum title, then create thread. To insert images, use the third icon on the third row of options in the text editor. Browse your computer and upload the image you wish to share. Add your text around the image and hit Submit. To reply to a thread, open the thread in question and simply hit the Reply button below the post. By the end of the first week, you should know how to find your grades in Blackboard. Within your course, you may see a My Grades section in the course navigation. Here you will find all grades currently available to you in the course. To view feedback on an assignment, click the word bubble icon to the left of your grade. In order to view grades from all your courses at once, open the global navigation panel in the top right of Blackboard and click on the My Grades icon. Feedback can be accessed from this page as well. 